What is up, YouTube? My name is Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. I'm joined with Justin yet again for another Dragon Ball Super video. Justin, what's going on, man? Yet again, another Dragon Ball Super video. And yet again, Dragon Ball Super continues to be crazy. Indeed. We just got that new episode. Indeed. So, yeah. So, in this, I wanted to kind of do... This video is going to be kind of like a recap of episode 77. And we're going to go over the preview of 78 and kind of talk about what we think is going to happen in the episode and everything like that. But real quick, what did you think of 77? What did you think of the first episode in the All-Universe Martial Arts Tournament? I thought it was pretty good. Not a, not my favorite episode of Dragon Ball Super, but we got a lot of setup going in here and a lot of stuff that I can't wait to see come to a head in the actual arc. Uh, Bola is going to be born. That's probably one of the most hyped up things I honestly got from this show, to be quite honest. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think that it was, uh, I think it was a good episode. I actually think it was a really good start to the arc. Um, but like you said, that was pretty interesting. Um, Balma's pregnant. You know, Vegeta, so interesting that he will not go train and uh, wants to stay at home for his child to be born. I thought that was kind of cool. There was some good humor. Um, I really liked how uh, Beerus was literally about to destroy Goku because he's causing all these these problems. Oh, yeah, man. Goku screwed up majorly. I really hope we get to see, like, some of the people from the other universes, like Son Goku, what the hell? Yeah, that's you're actually all just being fine in our universes, and now you're starting this tournament. Now one of us is gonna get destroyed, and it's, it's all your fault. It's true. That's actually a good point. I, I didn't think about that. I wonder if other people from the universes are gonna do that. If Goku's gonna be this kind of infamous thing, and everyone's gonna be all pissed off at him now, which is kind of funny. Um, but that kind of brings us into the preview for episode 78 so i've got the preview queued up right here we're going to go over it kind of talk about different things that are happening and give our opinions on it so i'm going to go ahead and hit play hey it's me goku i'm so excited for zinchun's tournament of power okay so i'm going to pause it right here so we've got um the images of the other gods of destruction obviously goku's really excited for this tournament as you said we don't really know um how many other people are going to be upset they don't really look upset in this image right here oh yeah absolutely i really am wondering like you said we don't see anyone who's upset but let's be honest who do we got here we got gods of destruction angels and kai's True. showing up here we don't have any of the fighters we don't really have any of the fighters take on what's happening yet and I think that's going to be one of the most interesting developments that we are going to see from these next couple of episodes. True, 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 true. All right, play a little bit more here. Like you said, all of these guys of destruction. There's that clown, the two Zenos. I, um, I just want to say, um, you know how we got that one guy in the cloak behind um, Clown? Yes. God of Instruction, whoever. I'm pretty sure that's the one dude from the opening. The, like, super buff, like, purple and red guy. Yes, he kind of looks like Deathstroke. Fighting Goku. Yes. Yes. I think he is going to be the main antagonist of this arc. Yeah, like, no, that I think so, too. I think so, and too. Think, and that falls in with the prediction we had of uh, Cloud and Destruction being the absolute crazy, like, be-all, end-all that they're going to fight. I think it's going to wear be where this tournament is going to culminate into an encounter between Goku and that roped fighter, whoever true, he is. True, 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 true. So we got this shot right here. Uh, Goku, he's like, sure, he'll blow everyone away. It looks like Beerus is pretty upset in this picture right here. Um, and then we cut to this part right here. This is where the angel, I guess this is what, the head angel? the He's the father of... Weez. Yeah, the, uh, the high priest. Weez's right, father. the high priest. Presumably the father of maybe all of them too, right? I would think that's a safe assumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right here, it, it looks as though he is delivering the uh, rules, more or less, of the tournament. Is that pr we're pretty sure that's what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. And I think people are going to be pretty disappointed with what the rules actually are. Now, right here, it says the name of the episode, the gods of every universe in shock, losers erased from the tournament of power. Now, what do you think about that? Like, you know, we kind of had heard that the whole universe was going to be destroyed. You and I did the preview video of this arc and, you know, from all the promotional material and different things that we heard on Consensu, uh, we thought maybe they're all going to be destroyed. Now, this right here just says losers erased in the tournament of power. What do you think that means? 
Uh, I think this means the stakes are even higher than we thought. I mean, initially when the first scans come out, everyone thought that whatever bottom universe was going to be, whatever universe lost all of its fighters first was going to be destroyed. But no, it really, really seems like that the end result of this arc is going to be Zeno destroying every universe except the universe that wins sure sure pretty crazy pretty crazy let's go right here oh now we got the shot of all the supreme kais and kabito uh, they look pretty shocked um pretty so upset. yeah so we're pretty sure that this is what's gonna happen they're gonna they're gonna get the bad news they're gonna freak out and uh here's what obviously this is what i think beerus is gonna be really regretful that he didn't destroy goku when he had the chance because now he can't right i mean goku's like his best fighter yeah, Goku's the pocket seed. He, um, you know, for Beerus himself not to be destroyed, he's going to need Goku. Like, absolutely need him. And that is that is pretty cool. I like that. I think that's that's good writing. I think that's interesting. Um, but yeah, like I mean, at this point, like you know, Beerus was right. How crazy is that? Yeah, I know. Like, I really don't think anyone saw this coming. Like, we always had Goku in this spot where you know even though he's admittedly a huge moron like he's always doing the right thing and always ends up pulling stuff through but this obviously this is goku one of goku's biggest major mess ups we've had instances before where you know goku's desire to fight has kind of made things worse right and but now he's i really don't think a lot of people are going to forgive him for this no, nor should they really. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's pretty devastating stuff. So I'm going to hit play here. Oh, yeah. That's the shot right there. Look at that angry Beerus. I mean, holy cow. This guy's this guy's going to be very upset. Yeah, it's a mix of anger. It's a mix of fear. He is... He's been warning Goku, like, don't mess with Zeno. Don't mess with Zeno. Right. And I think Goku's finally going to learn what messing with Zeno is all about. True. I'm just, um... I think that the best scene we're going to see from this is when Vegeta finally talks to Goku about it. Because Vegeta's going to be like, Goku, what the hell? My daughter was just born and you already have the universe being threatened to be destroyed. Right. Like, I'll, I'll say something for Vegeta. He's had some of the absolute best character development in Dragon Ball Super. I think Dragon Ball Super as a whole has been nothing but to Vegeta's benefit. I agree. And... In that whole conversation, I can easily find myself sympathizing with Vegeta. Like, yeah. Vegeta is right, absolutely, 100%. No, I, I absolutely agree. I'm going to just hit play here. I don't know if there's anything else. I think that's There just, isn't. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, very, very cool stuff. You know, I, I just to go back to your point about Vegeta, I think something very interesting is going to happen. I think you and I have talked about this a little bit before, but I think what's going to end up happening is that Vegeta, because of his love for his family, because of his love for his unborn daughter and, um, you know, his son Trunks and Balma and everything, that the stakes being thrust upon him, you know, because of Goku, will actually push him to be maybe stronger than he's ever been because he's never really been a selfless fighter, you know what I mean? It's always been very selfish, you know, he's filled with a lot of pride and different things like that. But, you know, that my Balma moment, right, where he gets slapped and becomes insanely strong and is able to hang with the God of Destruction in Super Saiyan for just a, a little bit of time. But I think that that same kind of that same kind of power, I think, is going to be unleashed because of his attachment to everything that's going on. What do you think about that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like we have to consider. I mean, Vegeta being stronger than Goku in that moment, that's Super Saiyan Vegeta being stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku at that time. Sure. That is absolutely absurd. That is crazy. And I think we're definitely going to see a lot out of Vegeta this arc. I mean, let's be honest. In the Universe 6 arc, when Vegeta was just plowing through those fighters, that was... Just that was amazing. Yeah, moment. yeah. He went, he went through so many fighters. It was awesome. I thought maybe he'd run the whole show, which would have been just great because there was uh, 
there was that interview that came out, I think it was after Battle of the Gods, where Toriyama said something to the effect, like, well, Goku always gets to shine. I'd love to do uh, a moment or a story or a movie where Vegeta is the main hero or whatever. And it was probably an offhanded comment that fans grabbed and just, you know, uh, held up on this pedestal or whatever. But I think that that's still out there. I mean, fans really want it to happen. I'd love to see Vegeta go ham. But, you know, from everything we've seen in the previews, it really looks like it's still more of a... Uh, of the Goku show going on, so I, I don't really know. But what do we think exactly, um, last 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 part of the video, what kind of uh, predictions do you have for this coming episode, uh, 78? What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I think what's going to happen, we're going to get everyone confronting Goku and telling him how he's going to mess up. Goku's just going to play it off like it's no big deal. And this is going to push everyone to be like, wow, Goku is really screwed up. We really need to double down in our training and get this done. We're probably going to see some moments from Gohan training with Piccolo. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see Vegito, Vegeta jumping back into the gravity chamber and just yes. really doing everything he can to push himself beyond the limit. And as far as the other fighters, I don't know. Maybe we're going to see people going around and actively starting to recruit the fighters for – the universe tournament. I don't know if maybe Beerus is going to do it or if Beerus is going to be like, listen, Goku, you screwed up. I'm going to need you to go get some fighters and you need right. to do it now. Right. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fair bet. I would say yes. I think the stakes are going to be laid out there. Um, I think that, like you said, they're gonna, he's going to have to go tell everybody about this. It's going to cause people to start training uh, really, really hard. Definitely interested to see what Vegeta does. Um, We've seen the images of him going into the, the gravity chamber and all that. So that's going to be really cool. Yeah, hopefully we, we get to see, you know, Gohan and all of them start to train or whatever. But yeah, I think you're right. I think the basis of this episode is going to be the, the, the stakes are laid out there. Everybody hounds Goku. But it's almost like one of those things where it's like, well, yes, Goku is terrible. And if we had all the time in the world, we would scold him forever. But we don't. Uh, you know, we have to face reality. And so let's move on sort of thing so uh yeah i think i think that's gonna be uh one quick question i know i said this would be the last one but i'm just so interested um what do you think do you think it's possible they might lie to people like do you think do you think it's gonna be out there in the open like they're just gonna explain everything or is it possible that like for instance vegeta doesn't want to tell his family about the actual stakes or maybe it's not good to tell chi chi the actual stakes you know what i mean you think there's gonna be some lying going on I think some of the characters are going to try to do some lying. I really don't think Goku's smart enough to lie to Chi-Chi about it. I think mm. he's just accidentally going to let it slip, and then Chi-Chi is going to be like, what are you doing, Goku? Yeah. Uh, Vegeta might lie to his family. Uh, as far as lying to any of the other fighters, no, Beerus is going to straight up tell them what the stakes are. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. All right, well, let's sign off for now. Guys, this has been Josh and Justin talking about Dragon Ball Super again. If you like this video, hit it. Hit that like button in the face. Use, use your, your Super Saiyan abilities and punch that like button. And uh, subscribe to this channel. Justin and I are going to continue to do Dragon Ball Super stuff. Um, as far as I'm concerned, like I want to continue to kind of do previews and, and slash reviews for this arc uh, as long as you're down, Justin. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I am awesome. completely invested in this arc, and we're going to do it whether you all like it or not. <laughs> yeah, so you better like it. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and oh, and also, please check out the channel. We're adding a whole bunch of stuff to the Den of Nerds, including gaming stuff. Justin and Dan are working really hard to give you guys great, awesome content with that Den of Nerds flavor when it comes to gaming. So check that stuff out. Uh, and as I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya. Catch you later.